Correct. So yeah. I, yeah, I have like nine years of experience into testing, and I want to transition my career into a scrum master role. And uh, what uh, I what I am thinking is, even though if I take certification and if I study and maybe I get an offer also, but how practically it is possible to implement those in where in any organization where we join and how practically. Uh, hands-on experience is required to justify that role for, uh, is my first question. And second question is in work, project manager is handling a scrum master role and in some organizations, scrum master and project managers are different. So how these both are connected? So these okay. are my two questions. Okay, okay. Interesting one though. So uh, I, I hope many of you may also relate to whenever you are looking at agile scrum way of working. So can I just study something and become a good scrum master? That's the first question. Yeah, if I'm getting it right. And the second question is, okay, even if I become a scrum master, is it the same thing I have to do which project manager is doing? If not, what is the difference between me and project manager? Sorry. Yeah. So let's take one by one. See, what is the role of a scrum master? If he or she is a leader, leader mm -hmm. of a team. Yeah? Now there will be competencies needed, which are more or less people dealing team management competency. There is nothing, nothing different needed in order to lead people. You can call the guy, whatever XXX, team leader, project manager, or whatever it is. How do I take everyone together towards the common goal? How do I resolve conflict? How do I make them collaborate with each other? How do I create processes? How do I make sure the process adherence is there? How do I make people reflect on what they are doing so they continuously improve? That is the only skill needed when we are working and developing team. It is needed for a team leader. It is needed for a project manager and it is needed for any manager or anyone who is leading people. So that's the common skills. Now on top of that, in a Scrum Master space, you also need to know how do you do all this in the context of Scrum? So say, I want to make people plan together, but now I will say, how do I do a effective sprint planning? So rather than I'm thinking, okay, how do I make people commit to a common plan so that they achieve what they wanted to achieve? That's a generic uh, goal of any leader, but the Scrum goal will become, okay, how do I make everybody agree to sprint plan so that we achieve our sprint goal? So what has been changed? The sprint plan word has been added and the sprint goal word has been added. So now, in order to achieve that, you need to understand Scrum also well. So when you have a good understanding of Scrum, and then you develop the skills and competency which are needed for managing and working with people. Yeah, That's the two skills which you need uh, for a Scrum Master job or for a later on as a project manager job also. So again, uh, 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 whatever testing skills you have, ha have now, in a Scrum Master space, your people skills are needed. So the way you uh, interact with others, how do you make people uh, interact with each other, even someone who understands Scrum well, if he, he or she fails in that particular area, the, 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 the team management, team leadership will be at risk. Yeah. So that's an area one has to improve, like listening skills, asking questions skills, ability to influence e uh, the, the other people, ability to uh, mot influence and motivate people to get the job done, how do you interact? Mainly a conversational skills because all these skills you will exhibit by way of mature conversation, by way of, I think, positive conversations because with the conversation, you influence that people and you take the things forward. So that's a part of a soft skill part you have to develop. Uh, you can practice that part. It's very difficult to judge that part in an interview process. Many organizations may judge you on the basis of scrum knowledge only uh, when you give them an interview. But in, in order to do the job, your soft skills, your people skills will come into the place. Yeah.